Well, welcome back to Afternoon Express. Thanks so much for joining us on the show today. I'm so excited to bake with you today and hope you are absolutely ready because I have this rule and it's never to cook fruit. I think it's the worst thing anyone can do. Pineapple on pizza, baked <laughs> apples and things, not my favorite thing in the world. But the only exception I will ever, ever make is when somebody makes a banana bread. And that's exactly what we're going to do today with Chiara Torrilli. We're making a crispy, it was crunchy, crispy? Cinnamon crunch. Which one? Crunchy, crunchy. So yes. the cinnamon crunch it's banana exactly. bread, which sounds super delicious. I've never made one before so I'm ready to go let's make okay, it cool it's quite a simple recipe and it's super nice for winter because it's easy to get bananas you just need to make sure that your bananas are super ripe okay. that's the main thing no, I've, I've been to the shops often I always buy those green ones and leave them to sort of like ripen over the week because I yeah it takes me forever to finish them but <laughs> I definitely will go look for the ones that are slightly more ripe which obviously means the yellower the better yes so all we've done is we just mashed it up with a bit of salt and the reason why I put the salt in is because it extracts the water from the banana and oh, it wow. actually makes it nice. You can see it's like a paste. Okay, I see. So yes, it does. It has a slightly yeah, pastier texture to it. Yes. And um, one trick I've also learned from one of my friends who used to make us banana bread when I was back in Varsity in, in Diggs was to almost take those old bananas that you have at home, those ones that have kind of gone brown, and yes. use those ones. Those are great for <laughs> exactly. banana bread. Exactly. That's a bit. The older, the better, actually. So moms, if you have ever found your kids leaving their bananas in their lunch tins for far too long, <laughs> take them all out <laughs> and make them make banana bread for you. It's the best decision you can ever make for yourself. Okay, so okay. in here, we've just got a little bit of melted butter, yes. and we're just putting that in so you're cool. just getting this you can just to combine yeah cool. just combine, combine that so in here we've got our Solasi Casa show show or the so, snow because snow. they snow. had their own show snow. wouldn't be here but well, yes it is a show so <laughs> okay. it's the snow on the show okay, <laughs> okay so we've got that with the eggs and vanilla okay so cool. we've just whipped it up a little bit I'm just gonna give it a little and now, what is that for by the way so this is gonna go into our banana bread mixture to just give okay. a little bit of fluff we don't want it to be heavy and dense we want it to be nice light and fluffy. Okay, cool, I get you. Because the only ingredient I know in bread is flour and eggs, and so I'm, I'm wondering how this all works together. It you seems like quite a process. It is, you know, it's a banana bread, although it's called a banana bread, it's in between a cake and a bread. Okay. So it does have this in it to make it lighter. And most, most important things on this Friday is on our show, we've been making breakfast for the entire weekend. Really? And yeah, one of my favorite breakfasts ever to have is like crispy bacon on a banana bread drizzled with like a, oh oh, like a syrup, it's That's so yum. Amazing. Yeah. So you can have it as for breakfast, lunch, dinner, again, one of those all-purpose all meals. Exactly, and you can have it for dessert if you make a bit of chocolate ganache, Ooh, put that yeah. over with oh. ice cream. Okay, let's not get too elaborate yet. Okay, let's sorry. just start with sorry. the basics, okay? <laughs> Some of us are beginners. Okay, there okay. we go, yum. So I'm literally just gonna pour it in. Okay, like that. I'll try and scoop Thank this out for you. you. Look at me being a good sushi. I know, you literally are amazing. It's the only time you're ever allowed to sue me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, delish. All right. I'm going to scoop these up together, obviously combining these two. Yes, that's perfect. And then afterwards, I like to add cinnamon inside and it's going to be on the crunch on top. I'm like, the more cinnamon, the better. Yes, totally. And then we've got bicarb and we've got flour. Quick question, can you yes. uh, omit having the cinnamon inside? Can you make it just like a crunchy of banana course. bread? So the cinnamon is not definite, it's just the nice yes. flavour. I'm okay. just obsessed with cinnamon because I think banana and cinnamon Best combination ever. ever. Okay, cool. Never tried it, so let's try this out. Cool, so you're putting it into your flour and you're going to chuck it in here? Yes, and this is the bicarb. So we just, this is our raising agent. Okay, cool. So bicarb, I'm starting to learn more, is like the catalyst for all baking. Exactly. It's the, the activating agent. Helps make things rise. Oh, that's cinnamon. I love, love, love. So I'm going to take over from you here because I just want to show you not to over make... <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> Not to overmix this part. Bossy boots. That's mm. why I'm just mm. trying to help you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because if you do overmix it, it will become super dense and it's yes. literally going to be able, you're going to be able to throw it at someone and probably knock them out. Knock so them we out. don't okay. want that. That would be a bad idea. Yes. Although, <laughs> it sometimes happens. <laughs> Let's get those combined and then is that it for now and just later on I'm going to be showing you guys how to put that into the tin yes. etc and doing the toppings and yes. getting the crunch part right. Okay so that's going to go into this baking tin right? Yes. For how long? So we, we're going to do the crunch first when we come back okay. and then we're going to put it in the oven. Ooh, yeah. Okay so I'm going to keep my mouth shut and let her do all of the cooking. You guys can cook along with us though by finding the recipe and the shopping list on our website afternoonexpress.co.za. We're making a delicious crunchy cinnamon uh, banana bread and I can't wait for you guys to send us the photos after you've made it yourself too. Jeannie's back on the couch with our guest. 
Welcome back to Afternoon Express. There's something delicious cooking in the kitchen today, or should I say it's baking in the kitchen. We're making a crispy cinnamon banana bread. Chiara Turilli is our guest chef for today, and you always make the most delicious treats. So Thank you. I'm really excited of the last one on Afternoon Express. I don't know if you've noticed this too, but we're making all the basics, all those things that you've always wanted to know to make, like breads and now a banana bread, and we've made staple things, like we made our own hummus and stuff like that, which gets me so excited. So I hope you're as amped about making what we're making on the show as I am. So what you've done so far, is basically just put that batter into a baking, baking tray. Yes, baking exactly. Tin. Okay, what's left to do? So now we're gonna make the crunch. Okay. Yes. It's crunch time. Exactly. Okay, so we've got our pecans, we've mm -hmm. got our cinnamon, and then we're using muscovado sugar. Muscovado. Yes. Which is so nice, because it's got a slight caramelly uh, texture to it, which I think is really nice for a banana bread, which yes. is quite sticky, and you want that sticky feel. I think the, the main thing is, like, we're going to add this banana on top of the bread before we oh. bake it. Oh. So what happens is, when you cut a piece, every person's going to get, like, a little piece of banana with, like, caramelized muscovado Ooh, sugar yummy. on top. So we're just okay. going to quickly shuffle that, like that. And then I just like to, obviously presentation is always important. So I just overlap it like Slightly, that. Slightly, okay. Yeah. So just give it a slight little yeah, so different like, you know, layers. Exactly. Okay, Clem would like you because texture, texture, texture. I agree, always. <laughs> so now we just, like it's quite a bit, so we just cover the banana like that. Cool, so once you've got the banana done, the rest of it just goes to fill in the gaps. Yes. Okay, so good just stuff. Spread it out. Yummy. And just to remind everybody, obviously you're making a cinnamon crunch banana bread here, yes. but the staple banana bread ingredients will work the same way with your recipe that's on the website. 100%. Okay, just remove all of the cinnamon, etc., and you'll be absolutely fine. So maybe if you're yes. nut intolerant or whatever, you can you're take totally that out. fine. Yes. Okay, cool. And this goes into the oven? Yes, so 175 for 60 minutes. Okay, delicious. And then afterwards, you'll have this thing come out of the oven. It'll be a delicious, crunchy cinnamon banana bread. And you can make it with us on Afternoon Express or find the recipe and the shopping list. It's on our website, afternoonexpress.co.za. What I really love about it, it's such a winter dessert. No, it's such it a winter is. bread, served with a cup of tea. Yes, or coffee. Or but. coffee, oh, espresso, espresso, <laughs> for us Italians. Jeannie, the porra is on the couch.